Morning, hey, Brody, how you doing? Yeah. Really good, fun, aren't you? Yeah. yeah. Much more, Jim. Yeah. Okay, I'm actually Ryan, um, mate of Luke's, right? Luke and I are both from a group called Tribe, right? Tribe's about giving people opportunity in our societies by basically caring about them. Okay, reaching out, caring about someone that looks like they might need some help. So that's part of what we're about. So one of the major things we want to do today with you is try and get you to think a little bit differently about some things, okay? You are going to, every single one of you, are going to come against, up against problems in your lives that feel really, really tough. You're going to come up against things that feel really difficult and really bad at that time. The interesting part about that is you can do two things with those issues, all right? You can do one thing which is fall in a heap and say it's all too hard. That's being a victim. Or you can look at it and say, what can I get out of this? How can I do better out of this situation? Where can I go with this? And that's being a victor. Okay? You can, you can decide to get beaten by what happens to you, or you can beat it. It's really simple, okay? It's the decisions you make. I'm not going to tell you too much about my story today, but one of the things that's happened to me quite recently, in January, uh, just two days before Australia Day, my son died of cancer. He was 18. So, that's a tough thing. That's not fun. That's the most difficult thing I've ever done in my life. But here we are. We're still here talking to you guys about how much better life can be and the good things that can happen after the bad times. I'm going to hand over to Luke now. He's going to tell you a little bit about his story and give you some advice too. How you going, Brian Beyond? Um, yeah, my name's Luke. Um, from, from, from Sandat. Um, back in 2013, I used to love riding skateboards. And um, like I'd ride one every single day. Like, and I, felt, I actually fell off one um, going down a hill and I hit my head and I ended up in a coma for five weeks with a 3% chance to live. And um, my aim is to just inspire people to just live life to the fullest. Like you can, um, like, as you say, like, I could have been like, I could have just not worked and just stayed at home and, you know, quiet for myself. But I decided to get a job and um, go out and meet, meet people in my room. And um, like, I want people to wear, like, because who in here rides a skateboard? Yeah. Skateboard. yeah, few people. Yeah, these wear helmets. <laughs> nah, see, so, like if you wear a helmet, it would help. Like literally, I would not listen to anyone unless something like that happened to myself, like someone that I knew. Because like my, my left arm, I can't even move. Like, I can move, but it's very slow, and that's all from hitting that side of the head that caused that. Like you know, like the whole left side of the body, like my leg, I like walk with like a limp, like an old school thing. Nah. But um, yeah, you know what I mean? But like, mind, yeah, you've got to keep, keep moving forward. And you can't let little things happen to you. Like, you can't like, let them suffer. Okay, so Luke had a choice, didn't he? Luke came out of a five week coma, badly injured. He had to learn to walk again, learn to eat again, talk again, do the whole thing. Now, if he hadn't made a choice to get better and to do something better with his life, he wouldn't be here now talking to you. Luke doesn't have to have a job. <clears throat> Luke can get disability benefits. He doesn't have to do what he's doing here today. But he does it because it's worth doing. And it's a better option than sitting out at home being sorry for yourself. Now, you might not have the problems that Luke and I have. Okay, or have had. We haven't really got them anymore. But you are going to come up against things in your life that are difficult. Once again, I want you to think differently. Have a think about how you can get something good out of that situation. Have a think about what you can learn out of that situation and then you can be better and brighter out of coming out of darkness. So that's your choices, okay? They're all yours, and when something happens to you, I want you to remember us two Muppets up the front here, tell me about it, okay? Your choice, let's see where you go from here. Thanks for listening. And always remember to smile and like enjoy life. Keep smiling, seriously, like it's good. All right, and have a good afternoon, everybody. Thanks for listening.